Hola, my name is Ninzul and welcome to a new episode of Let's Build a MKP Park. In today's episode, guys and girls, we have a really special one as this is going to be a short tutorial uh, on how to create a realistic underwater coaster. And uh, yes, I will create a underwater uh, coaster. I mean, this is not uh, the whole coaster is not going to be underwater. The, that will be uh, really uh, expensive to make, but it will have a, a small section or I don't know how small, how big or small it's going to be, but for sure it's going to be a lunch and that lunch is going to be underwater. So uh, that's, the, that's the idea and uh, I will take the concept uh, for this from a water park located in Spain. The name is Siam Park and it has a slide going under the water, under the uh, sharks uh, uh, waters. So when you are uh, going down the slide, you can see the sharks over you. So uh, that's the same idea. Uh, uh, if, I, if I were the um, owner of my own park, I won't make an underwater coaster because I think that uh, can cause many problems, but as I have no, uh, as I don't have to pay, and then as I don't have to worry for that uh, possible problems with a coaster having a launch underwater, uh, I will make that in this uh, part, and I will try to make it in the more realistic way I can. And for that, as I said, I will take the concept of an aquarium for that underwater section. So let's start with the um, with the tutorial, and the first point you have to check uh, is uh, the config the settings of the game. The you have to uh, be sure that all collision settings are disabled, as uh, as otherwise you you will have problems opening most of the sandbox uh, parks. So that's also. Uh, Something good you can do if you are not if you, if you are uh, playing sandbox mode or you are visiting uh, others park, uh, the best would be to uh, disable those uh, settings. So after you have that settings disabled, the next point is to uh, create the coaster. And as you can see, I have created a hole in the in the area, and that hole is lower than the uh, water surface, and that's uh, also necessary for for the coaster. I will use a vector launch coaster and I will place the station uh, in this hole so it's also under the uh, water. So I will create a, a, a launch here after the, the entrance, uh, after the station, sorry. And uh, I will use also the automatic tunnel uh, tool. That's also really useful for this uh, purpose. So I will create the launch. Uh, I will I will I, I won't make the prototype the final prototype for the for this coaster in this tutorial. I just want to show you uh, the process of creating it. These uh, uh, parts where the coaster interacts with the water and how to make it more realistic. So let's uh, start with the launch. And here we are already in the lake, but the coaster is under the lake, but the station remains dry. So we can make a realistic entrance for this area, and uh, during the entrance, you, you won't have to uh, to go. Uh, uh, you, you at some point you don't have to drown into the water. That's the idea because that would be really unrealistic. So I keep making the lift hill. So sorry, the launch, and I will maybe use uh, this kind of uh, uh, hill. I mean, this is only a, a placeholder. This is not the, the end, so I want to show you uh, just how it works. And yes, this is, uh, that will be the first uh, prototype, but it's not finished because, uh, okay, we, we come from the station, we are uh, in a, a hole in the water, and at the end, the, the whole uh, coaster should be uh, with, uh, out of the water. So uh, what I'm going to do uh, when we enter in this area, uh, you can see the, the lake over you. I will decorate the uh, sides of the launch with uh, water things and so on. And uh, I will put the glass panels over surrounding the whole, uh, uh, not the whole uh, 
uh, space of the coaster or area of the coaster, but only the uh, hike part. Uh, so the the people in the coaster can see uh, that they are under the water. But and, and yes, so uh, this is going. On, this is something I'm going to make later. And here we have. Oh, oops. So here we have a, a collision point with the, the water cross from the what uh, sorry the coaster cross from the water side to the normal side out of the water and we should solve that and how are we going to do it it's easy you I just have to create an ISO here. Mm -mm. So, yeah, just like this. And now let's let's check again. You will see the the difference. And you have a clear transition to reality, back to reality. So uh, it's more realistic than just uh, going and crossing the water. So uh, there is one point left for this uh, prototype and uh, I will uh, put the glass panels and so on. I will fast forward a little bit this uh, process as it's uh, just repetitive. And I will be back in some uh, seconds to uh, check the final result for this uh, prototype. All right, so I finished this work uh, with the glass panels and yes, uh, let's check the result. So here we can see that there is a glass panels surround, surrounding us. So. Uh, we have the sensation of this can be done as uh, as uh, is done in the aquariums, uh, for example. So uh, we I will decorate the surrounding areas with uh, uh, different things. You will see that in the theming phase. And now we are going to the outdoor section, and everything is clear and everything is realistic. If you want to do it this way, you can do it this way. So that was uh, the tutorial. I hope you find it interesting and interesting. And if you have any doubt or any question, you just have to uh, leave me a comment in the comment sections. And yes, thank you so much for, for watching. And as, as usual, uh, if you like the content uh, I created for my channel, subscribe to the channel. I'm really happy uh, for all those new subscribers I'm getting in the last few days. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ningful and this was Let's Build a MKP Park. Adios.